We'll take a look at the physical appearance. The normal baby, term baby's weight, is anywhere from 2,500 grams to 4,000 grams. That's also 5.5 pounds to 8.5 pounds. Here we see vernix. Vernix is a white, cheesy-like substance that covers the fetal body during the second trimester to protect against skin dryness. Babies are also born with some of it still on them. And we should not wipe it off. It's actually very good and moisturizing for the baby's skin. And we will wait 24 hours before we will bathe the baby. And we want all this vernix to soak into the skin. It's really good for them. Lanugo is fine downy hair that is present in abundance on preterm infants, but it's found in thinning patches on shoulders, arms, and the backs of term newborns. Milia is also known as milk bumps. These are tiny white papules that look like little pimples. They are harmless to the newborn baby. Acrocyanosis is very normal in the beginning um, of life. It is a bluish color or tint to the hands and feet of the newborn. It is very normal in the first six to 12 hours after birth. This is the Harlequin sign. It is a clown suit-like appearance of the newborn. It is caused by constriction and dilation of the blood vessels. Parents should not be concerned. This is Mongolian spots. The dark bluish black areas of discoloration on the back, buttocks, or extremities of dark-skinned newborns. It mainly appears in a darker skin ethnicities. And we should instruct the parents that the baby does not have bruising because sometimes they are startled that um, it appears like bruises to the baby. We have to tell them about this condition and that it's fine. They usually fade over time and it's harmless. This one is a stork bite. That's what the lay people call it, but the medical term is telangiectic nevi. It is a pale pink or red mark found on the nape of the neck usually, eyelids or nose of the fair-skinned newborns. This one is a port wine stain. It is a really dark reddish purple birthmark that most commonly appears on the face. It can also appear on the groin and legs and it usually has a really hard time fading over time. It, it usually will stay pretty dark their entire life. Some babies do get molding when they come through the birth canal from their sutures overriding each other while they're making their way out. But sometimes we have caput saccadium and caput saccadium is swelling of the soft tissue of the scalp and the caput saccadium covers the suture line. It's like a cap, C-A-P, cap. So the, the swelling or the hematoma covers the um, top of the suture line. The other one is a cephalohematoma. It's basically the same thing except it occurs over one side or the other of the head and it does not cross the suture lines. It occurs from bleeding underneath the perostenum of the skull. Usually these things will resolve in about 24 hours and the baby will look pretty normal the next day. We want to teach mom or dad how to use the bulbous syringe. Um, put the end of the syringe into the side of the cheeks, never straight back to the gag reflex. Uh, so to use the bulbous syringe, you squeeze it, then you put it into the mouth, squeeze the stuff out, then squeeze it again, put it into the nose, and, uh, and let the air out, um, or unsqueeze it. So we, you want to teach them to do mouth, then the nose first. Do mouth first, then the nose. Next is car seat safety. Every infant should have a car seat. No more than one finger breath should be able to get in between the chest and the straps. It should be a five-point harness. Uh, trimming nails. It's, uh, it's easy to accidentally cut the tip of baby's fingers. We need to teach parents to not put band-aids on because that becomes a choking hazard. Diaper ice cream is fine. Apply barrier cream, Vaseline, or A&D ointment, or any other diaper rash cream and then let the baby's bum air out. Umbilical cord care, it takes about 10 to 21 days for it to completely fall off. We should teach them to not cover it up until it does fall off, so open to air, sponge bath, and keep it clean and dry. Alcohol may or may not be used. It's, there really isn't anything for or against it, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so, but we want to tell them to not pull it off. If it's dangling on by a thread, still don't pull it off. Because if you pull it off, then you create an opening into the skin, which can lead to infection, and we don't want to have umb umbilicus, umbilic umbilicalitis there. Um, circumcision care. Uh, keep the circumcision area moist with, with petroleum jelly or Vaseline. 
you put it on a gauze and you put it on top of the penis and you keep it nice and moist the whole time. That helps for a good heal healing of the penis area. Uh, do not remove the yellow crust that may form from the secretions from the procedure. So don't remove that. Don't don't wipe it. So just squeeze, bath it off. So it's rag on top, squeeze with soapy water, and then squeeze with regular water. Watch for bleeding. Uh, babies can bleed out a lot from a circumcision, so they need to be taught to watch for bleeding. A spot or two is fine, but anything that saturates a gauze is not okay. If they do have bleeding, they need to be taught to put pressure on the penis and hold it for at least 10 minutes. Make sure the baby is urinating. There's different kinds of circumcision things that they use. Uh, they use a ring-like clamp or an aplasty bell. It's not really that important that you know the specifics of each. Feed the baby every two to four hours, even at night. Elimination, they should have six to eight wet diapers and at least one BM a day. Make sure to support the head and neck upright and they can, uh, for, for clothing, this is, something we definitely have to teach, only one extra layer than yourself, and make sure to wash new clothes. So sometimes parents will want to like bundle their baby up in a whole bunch of blankets, and it will make them sweaty and makes their temperature too high. So just one extra layer than what you have on. No toys, pillows, or blankets in the crib. Sponge bathing, start with the eyes, one side from the inner canthus to the out, and then get a new rag spot and do the other side. Skin care, um, you can use baby lotions, it's fine, but no, pa no talcum powders because that, they can inhale that and we don't want that to happen. Make sure they understand when their appointment is for a follow-up after discharge for mom and for baby.